Hello everyone, how you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 14.8 on the iPhone XS Max. So, the iPhone XS Max have a 12 Bionic chip as we all know. And for people who do not know that a 12 Bionic chip does have all the features like a 12 Bionic and above will get all the latest features on the ios 15 just clarifying this in the first half because a lot of people were asking me this now back to the topic of this video ios 14.8 on iphone 10s max is it worth installing and will this update lower your battery health or any sort of things let me clarify first of all updating your device and battery health going down it may be a thing that you have noticed but Trust me, even if you won't update, eventually your battery health will go down. It is a normal and natural process how lithium ion batteries work. You guys have already listened to this from a bunch of other YouTubers and this is true. Like, come on, you can't stop battery health degradation. Just don't, just stop looking at it and use your device. You bought it with your own hard-earned money. Use it as much as you want. Don't worry about battery health. So I don't know why people hype this up so much that the cost of battery replacing is so much like it's just one in a dollars and it is worth it you can use your that battery for two three years more which in my opinion is really worth it anyways talking about the ios 14.8 so it is really really important to update your device to this firmware why because ios 14.8 brings in security features that will prevent your device to get hacked and uh to do not get a pegasus virus do not need to jump into it too much what is pegasus virus and all just update your device to this firmware it is a dangerous virus and i don't want you guys to be affected by this virus talking about the battery life apple did focus on the battery of iphones on this update so if you will update your iphone to this firmware you can expect better battery life than previous versions personally i did notice that there was a gain of about 30 minutes of screen on time after installing this update which is actually to be honest really huge also after installing this update i did notice that my iphone feels a little bit more responsive compared to previous ios version so that may be a thing that you should note in order to uh, set your decision for updating your device to this firmware or not and yes first of all don't worry about anything just update it update your device to this firmware because as i mentioned in the first half of this video it it does prevent your device from getting that pegasus virus so it is a big deal you know well that's pretty much it for this video if you did find this video helpful consider hitting that like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like these let me know down in comments below what kind of videos do you want me to make so that it will be better for everyone i guess peace out have a great day everyone and stay safe